Alright, so um, it's the from the GMS or finally come back to another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhmadash. The Bible the Apostle and others, the Great Millstone, teaching us the and truth, the Lord says, by rule well, and peace and blessings still for like the nation of Israel, take through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema of Shai. And just getting, getting to the lesson, you know, that we have faith, or we have hope, nevertheless, you know, that's the type of, of faith and hope, you know, very, they're synonymous with each other, you know, because our faith and our hope is that Yahweh. Yahweh by Shemal Shai, the Heavenly Father is going to send Yahweh Shai back and deliver us. You know, that's what we are expecting because that is what is written. That's what we believe is going to happen in these last days. Now we have uh, a hope in a hopeless world. You know, you see our people getting, they're just, you know, beyond all the killings, you know, that is done on them, they're just dumbed down. You know, they still trust. In this society, they still trust in this system, even as it is tilting and ready to fall down. You know, Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, prophesied that this kingdom will fall, and it is falling right before our very eyes. You see the love of many waxing cold. You know, so we just have to be thankful to Yahweh Shema Shai that He's given us this gift of faith. You know, because that. That's ultimately what we got in these last days. We don't got nothing else but faith in Yahweh Shema Shai. We have hope in this dim and dark, this dark world, you know, that promotes nothing but wickedness 24-7. That's, you know, that sodomy is rampant. People are all out of order, you know. Let's get into the scriptures. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So, faith is the substance. You look up that word substance, you know, sub, meaning other, under, and stance, you know, goes back to the word stand. So, faith is the understanding of things hoped for. And how do we, how do we get this understanding? The Lord, you know, he set up men, you know, through his, through his spirit and power, through his spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, to, 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 to feed us this understanding, you know. So now we have the understanding, you know, and Yahweh Shai has sent us the comforter, you know, which is the Holy Spirit, to uh, comfort us, you know, with this word. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for. So faith is the understanding of things hoped for, you know. If you look at that word hope, it goes back to expectation. So we have an understanding and we are expecting, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai to come through on his word. You know, and what was that? That during the time of trouble that we were going to be protected. That while the love of many is waxing cold because iniquity is abounding, that we, you know, we were going to be taken care of, you know, we are casting our burdens and everything, you know, our day-to-day -day lives onto the Lord. It says the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, we're, we're the evidence of things not seen, you know, the scriptures is full of evidence of things not seen, you know, the fact that it's written on paper, we can't see the acts of our forefathers, that's, that's the evidence of things not seen there. But also with the things to come down the line, you know, with this, you know, with this mandatory vaccine that they're pushing, you know, how are we going to be protected? What are we going to do? We're going to call upon the names of Yahweh Bashima Shai, who is mighty to save, you know? While the rest of the world is going to be shit out of luck, excuse my rude speech, but it's, you know, it's the, it's the truth. People are going to be SOL, or the men of the Lord, we have the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Let's get that. This is, um, this is, uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the righteous are going to uh, uh, call upon the names of Yahweh Shema Shai, and they're going to be
taken care of. You know, they're going to be safe from all evils and troubles that's coming upon the world. Let's get this Psalms 18. This is Psalms 18 and 1, a Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of the song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. And we have we have been given that gift of faith to believe in these accounts, you know, that none have ever been taken uh, for those who have trusted in the Lord, you see? We're going to come back to this. Let me finish out this Hebrews 11 chapter. I want to get the 6th verse. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without faith, without being, being, uh, being given the gift of faith, it is impossible to please you by Shema Shai. So what are these people doing? You know, they're leaning upon their own understanding. They're provoking Yahweh by Shema Shai onto anger. You know, the Lord is getting pissed off with these people day by day. Scriptures talk about how the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. You know, he preserves them for the day of judgment. So the Lord, he has, he has something coming for these people. And that's what we believe. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's what we believe. You know, that's what we, that's where our faith lies. You know, that Yahweh Shimon Shai is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see? This is, um, St. John. I want to get this. Because we did not get this on our own. St. John 3 and 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given except it be given him from heaven. So that's, we have to be thankful. You know, we are the only ones with hope. We are the only ones with our heads lifted up. Because our redemption is drawn nigh. You know, these people in the world... They're waxing worse and worse. They're bugging out. They're just losing their minds, you know? Boy, we've been given this wisdom. Let's get that. You know? Scriptures say, and above all, take unto you the shield of faith. You see? So Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. So the wisdom and knowledge... You know, having this understanding of the scriptures, having the understanding that these things must come to pass, that uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places must come to pass, you know, having that understanding that the Lord wants these things to come to pass, and that Yahweh Shai himself prayed that we be delivered from the evil, that is what's given us a stable mind. You see, this is what we believe in. Look up this word stability, which we'll look it up. Look up this word stability, and you go to, let's see, right here. You go to the root word. See, it says, uh, it's yeah, not gonna happen. It says faithfulness, trusting. Faithful, trusty. So, the word, if you go, let's read it right here. So, it says firmness, uh, steadfastness. Uh, but if you go, click right here to F529, the root word. It says faithfulness, trusting. So, yes, us getting this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, that's great. You know, because us... Believing in what is written, that is what's going to keep us stable. That's it's it's our faith. You see, our faith in Yahweh Shimon Shai. That's what's keeping us stable in these last days. Believing on His word. 
Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So that's why brothers push, you know, uh, the fear of the Lord, you know. It's very important that we come to fear the Lord. Scriptures say that uh, fearing the Lord is the first step to be accepted of Yahweh by Shema Shah. But let's go back to Psalms 18 and 1. Let's read it from the top again. It says, A Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words, Slaki, who spake unto the word, uh, Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. You see? So Yahweh Shai, he delivered our forefathers, our, for, our, our, our forefather, uh, King David. And he's going to do the same thing in these times. Nothing has changed. You know, are we not, uh, uh, you know, fighting to be part of the beloved, the house of David? My rock, the Lord is my rock, my fortress my deliverer, you see, the Lord is going to deliver us out of the hand of our enemy. The Lord is going to save us from, you know, this captivity in America. The Lord is going to do it. You got to believe that. It says, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust. Scripture say, let Israel trust in the Lord. You know, Scripture say, put not thy uh, uh, trust in man. But trust in Yahweh Shema Hashai. Trust in the Lord. Trust, you know, in the process that uh, in things how the Lord set set it up. You know, yes, it's gonna be a uh, uh, hard. It's gonna be bumpy. You know, it's not gonna be easy. We have to go through this straight and narrow path. But through all that, we are still going to maintain our hope in the Lord, you know? You see, if we be part of the elect, the Lord's willing, we endure unto the end that we may be saved. In whom I will trust my buckler in the horn of my salvation, you know, that look at that horn, you know, represents power, in the power of my salvation and my high tower, you know? These things all symbolize, you know, protection and strength, you see? And that's what the Lord, you know, that's what, that's what the Lord is building us up for in these last days. Scripture says, Thy truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I will call upon the, the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. You see, so shall we be saved. From our enemies, you know, scripts talk about we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. But now the Lord, He's given us that uh, heart, you know, uh, um, you know, to repent back to Him, you know, the mind to repent back to Him and seek Him ten times more. So while the rest of the world is losing their minds, brothers, just remember to stay up. Remember the Lord is with us throughout. You know, Yahweh Shai said, what, well, let's close out on this, it's, you know, starting to be one of my favorite scriptures right here. You know, this is, uh, St. Matthews 28 and 18, and Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in earth and, and in heaven. So Esau has no power. The so-called white man, just as a man can receive nothing except to be given to him of the Most High. What did Yahweh Shai tell Pontius Pilate? You can do uh, uh, nothing unless it was given to you from heaven. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. You know, unless it was given from heaven. And all power on heaven and earth was given to Yahweh Shai. Save, you know, of the Most High, of course. You know. But, so... Yahweh, Yahweh Shema Shai, they're going to come and strip Esau's power structure, his uh, uh, his whole system, his Edomite supremacy, out of his hand. This 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 B system. All we have to do is this: go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, 
and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So that's what we have to do. All we have to do is preach the word. You know, be instant in season, out of season. You know, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's all we have to do. You know, go push the word. So Yahweh by Shema Shai Spirit can seal the elect. You know what? We can get the hell out of here because the angels are holding back the four winds. You know, the four winds of destruction until the servants of Yahweh by Shema Shai be sealed in their foreheads. You know, until the believers come in and believe. You know, and as we continue to preach and push this word, more souls are going to be uh, uh more souls. Of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the elect are going to be sealed, and more destruction is going to come. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So the Lord is with us, you see, even unto the end of the world. You know, we're at the end of the world now. now. Because the signs and the times, you know, it's evident. But, you know, Yahweh Shai said he'll be with us, you know, no matter what we have go through. You know, we got to believe that. But with that, Lord's one, you know, you, uh, you, the hopeful elect was edified, you know, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhwadash. Say the water, y'all, by Shema Shai, for uh, giving me this Holy Spirit. You know, allowing this Holy Spirit to rest upon me to do this lesson. You know, let's say double honors to the Apostle and the Elders, the Great Millstone, for teaching us warmth and truth, according to the Bible rule. Well, you know, showing us how to do these things, do this thing in these last days. And um, peace and blessings, self-elected, the nation of Israel, next time we say, Shalom.